So, with that in mind, one important property relating to the presence of water in soils is permeability. You might say, that's great, but what is permeability? Let me help you with that. One definition for permeability is how easily water or another fluid flows through a soil. Another definition for permeability is how quickly a soil can be drained of water or another fluid. Mathematically, permeability in soils is defined by the coefficient of permeability, K. This is also known as the hydraulic conductivity of a soil. So, why are soils permeable? What I'm trying to ask is, how is it that water can actually flow through a soil? Well, the answer is that it is possible for water to flow through a soil because soils not only comprise of the solid particles you can readily see, but also a network of interconnected pores within the solid particles. That is, the air space, the air gaps between the solid particles. Here is a simple graphical representation of these interconnecting pores between the solid particles. Notice this line the so-called water table, which represents the depth at which water is found in soils. Water will flow through these spaces, the pores, uh, that are present between the solid particles. As it turns out, not all soils are created equal. In fact, Depending on how wide these pores are, that is, how wide the air spaces are between the solid particles, that will result in different permeability of different soils. That is, different soils will drain water faster or slower.